What you guys got another video? Should you encrypt your hard drive? I get this question quite a bit. And a short answer to that is yes, you should strongly consider encrypting your hard drive, especially if you are concerned about uh, data security. So you can see this drive is not encrypted. Now, by default, when you install Windows 11, uh, it's going to literally enable uh, drive encryption with using the BitLocker. So we're going to go through that and talk about it a bit today. So inside here, we have our drive and you can see it's not encrypted and I'll show you the whole process and I'll talk about some of the reasons why you might want to do it or the reasons why you might not. So full disk encryption will protect your data if your computer is stolen or lost. And this will generally make it inaccessible uh, to unauthorized individuals that might have actually found your laptop. So it's also a crucial step for safeguarding sensitive information, particularly on laptops, as they are a portable device. And it's generally common that people take them to locations like libraries and things like that on the bus, and they may leave it behind by accident. So having it encrypted will stop people gaining access. I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. So you can see we have BitLocker turned off, but I'm going to turn it on and I'll show you exactly why data protection is really important. So data protection encrypts and scrambles all of your data on that drive, making it unreadable without the correct decryption key. Uh, this is a vital part of protecting your personal information and financial records that you might have stored on here or any documents or photos these are all stored on your drive. So encrypting the drive will make it impossible for other people to gain access. So you can save your key to your Microsoft account, which is advisable, or you can print your key out, which is definitely not advisable, or saving your file, your key to a file, either an encrypted uh, USB flash drive. But normally, a Microsoft account is probably the safest way to go because it's easy to recover your key. So if all your data is stored on this drive and someone gains access to it, maybe in the workplace or maybe it's uh, somewhere you've left it behind, if they turn the PC on, guess what they can do? They can just gain access to all of your precious sensitive data. So let's say you use a laptop on a regular basis and you're constantly portable with that laptop and you leave it in the car, someone pops the window and steals it it's not going to do them much good because all of the data is encrypted on that drive. Even if they try to boot up to WinPE on that system, they will not be able to gain access. And I'll show you that a little bit later on. Another good reason is if you're disposing the laptop or recycling that laptop or computer, encrypting your drive before disposing of that device is essential. I've made videos showing you how to do that on a phone and I'll probably make a video showing you how to do it on a computer laptop because it's important if you want to leave the drive in there, it's important that you uh, encrypt the drive first and then erase it. And I'll do a full video showing you that process. Obviously, an easier solution would be just to keep the drive and sell it without the drive. But some people just want to be sure of the whole thing, including the drive itself. Now, encrypting your drive is not for everyone. So not everyone needs to go out and start encrypting their drive with BitLocker. But who is it really for? Well, it depends if you do a lot of sensitive information on your computer or laptop, or maybe you're using a laptop quite a bit in public places, and maybe encrypting your drive is a sensible thing to do. Because laptops are portable devices, and this means that they are susceptible to theft or loss making encryption a high priority, in my personal opinion, on that drive. Another really good reason is if you have sensitive data, which we've already talked about. So if you store sensitive or confidential information on that computer, encryption is highly recommended by security experts because it will uh, reduce the risk of people being able to gain access to that confidential or sensitive information. Another reason why you might want to encrypt your drive is compliance and regulations by companies like GDPR or HIPAA, uh, which is another company, which is a major requirement for you to encrypt your drive for sensitive information. 
So the potential drawbacks for encrypting your drive are that while modern CPUs handle encryption efficiently, if you've got a really old computer, then that might be a slight performance impact by encrypting your drive, especially on older hardware. Now let's talk about key management. So your key is your decryption key. That is really important that you keep that safe. If you lose that key, you're not gonna be able to gain access to all of your precious data because it will be encrypted. And even you won't be able to gain access to it unless you've stored that key correctly. This is why key management is important. So you need to securely store your encryption key or your password somewhere safe. If you lose it, you lose your data, it's that simple. So setting up your encryption might seem complex, but as you see on the screen, it has been very easy to encrypt this drive. And as you can see, it's encrypting right now. It might take a bit of time, depending on how fast your computer is and what type of drive you're encrypting. If you're encrypting an old mechanical drive, it might take a bit more time. But with these NVMe drives nowadays, it encrypts the data pretty quickly. Now, because Microsoft are enforcing uh, this encryption during the installation process or the setup of your Windows system, it starts to encrypt the drive straight away. So your granny doesn't really necessarily need, uh, you know, BitLocker encryption on her system. So when something goes wrong and she knows nothing about a key that she should have had stored, all her data is now encrypted and she can't gain access to it. And this can be a major problem. Uh, for a lot of people that are not familiar with encryption. Also, dealing with encryption problems, uh, computer repair shops will charge an absolute fortune to try to rectify the problem that these people might be having. And of course, some people are oblivious to their drive being encrypted in the first place because they never knew. So in conclusion, encrypting your hard drive, especially your laptop, is, you know, proactive it's a step to protect your data from various security threats on the internet and also externally when you leave it in your car or in a library or a public place. While there might be minor drawbacks to encrypting your drive, the benefits of data security far outweigh the potential disadvantages, in my opinion. Do I encrypt my drive on my computer? No, I don't. But do I encrypt my work computer? Yes, I do because it has more sensitive information on it. So it just depends on uh, what your circumstances are. So as you can see, we've pretty much encrypted this drive now and it shows unlocked here, but once I close this off and I restart the system, that padlock will then become locked. So what we're gonna do here is I'll quickly show you how BitLocker works and why it's such a a secure way of securing your data. You can see here, there's some information here, uh, like turn off BitLocker, uh, back up your recovery key and so on. Now I did wanna show you that by booting up into a pre-installed environment or even a, a Linux live CD or any of that sort of stuff, you can see we're already booted up here and I'm gonna show you that even when we go to the actual drive itself, if you was thinking about booting up here and bypassing everything and trying to gain access, you can see there's a big padlock with a key on it and you cannot gain access to it. If I try to get the data off this way, you can see enter the 48 digit recovery key to unlock this drive. It won't let you uh, gain access to look at that data on that drive. So the drive is basically secure and safe. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below what you do with your computer. I'll be happy to read your comments. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day. Bye for now.